there's no Christmas in Bethlehem this year. It won't be a sacred city after all. The changing face of Bethlehem on Sunday today. Television's weekly news magazine. One newsman has gone face to face with more important world leaders than any other network news anchor. Tom Brokaw, NBC Nightly News. Just ahead on Channel 3 News Nightcast, the tragedy of Pan Am Flight 103. 38 SU students killed in the crash. Tonight we have several reports on the grief and the effort to comfort those in the SU community. I'm John Nicholson. I'm Lisa Schweitzer. Nightcast is next. You can't get to Florida for Hall of Fame Bowl? No problem. Channel 3 will bring the bowl to you. Join Roger Springfield, John Nicholson, and Steve Schnall for live coverage of the team and Tampa. Our Hall of Fame lineup begins Monday, December 26th with a week of live coverage on Channel 3 News. Wednesday, December 28th, watch Countdown to Fame live from Tampa at 8. January 2nd, Channel 3 Sports is live again with a pregame special from 12 to 1. Then stay tuned to Channel 3 as the SU Orange Men take on the LSU Tigers. Start your new year with Channel 3, your station for the Hall of Fame Bowl. your holiday dreams come alive when you step inside the wonderland at Switzerland. Oh, it's like magic. The News Station, WSTM-TV. And now, Channel 3 News Nightcast with John Nicholson and Lisa Schweitzer, Roger Springfield on sports, and meteorologist Wayne Mahar. to seek comfort tonight after today's horrible tragedy. Good evening. The tragedy is, of course, the deaths and the crash of a Pan Am jetliner in Scotland. 38 Syracuse University students, according to the latest word, were among the 258 people aboard. All have been killed, and there may be even more dead in the village the plane hit. The wreckage of Flight 103 in the streets of Lockerbie, Scotland. BBC correspondent Ian Kronowitz was there tonight. It's collided here, and there's about tons and tons of debris blocking the road, and even cars strewn across it. The plane apparently broke up well before it hit the ground. People say they saw it burning as it fell, and pieces of it landed as much as 10 miles apart. The British Royal Air Force confirmed all aboard dead, and on the ground, as dawn neared, they'd still not been able to look for survivors in the wreckage of the houses. As far as I know, I've lost my brother-in-law, uh, my sister-in-law, and their house is just, it's just a 30 foot crater. So their house was there, I can't even find the house. They've already begun the investigation into what happened. This much is known. The plane left the terminal at Heathrow Airport at one o'clock our time and took off some 25 minutes later. At 2.15, there was a routine contact with the tower. And then just two minutes later, flight 103 mysteriously went off the screens. The next scenes were these. The tower says there was never a May Day, nothing from the plane as it went down. Well, we are now going to show you a list of names of the Syracuse University students who did check in on Pan Am Flight 103. In all, as we said, 38 SU students were said to be on board. Now, this list only shows 33 names. The other six did not, five rather, did not check in as SU students with that group. We do not have their names. The number to call for any passenger information is area code, and we'll show you that number in a moment. And the number to call for any passenger information, as I said, is area code 718-632-4288 or 1-800-221-1111.
For many SU students, know several people who were on board that flight tonight, and tonight some learned that their best friend or a frat brother was killed. More from Channel 3's Francis Gross. Tonight, these students should be studying for their finals. Instead, they're remembering lost friends. Everyone's crying. There's not one person there that's not crying. Everyone is affected because there are, there are peers, there are friends. Stephanie Gorn knew five of the victims, several of them well. Paging through her freshman directory, she was able to put faces to names. Classmates who chose to study in London to get the kind of education no college campus can give. That's one of the reasons her friend Nick Renios went abroad. We like to try new things and like to do new things, and this just doesn't seem fair. He was just, he was trying something new. The brothers at the Phi Delta Theta fraternity can temper their grief somewhat tonight, knowing that only one of their two brothers in London was on Flight 103. Even so, the shock of Steve Burrell's death hasn't set in. Ah, uh, he, uh... You know, I'd be missed, and I thought, you know, all I can do is, you know, hope and pray somehow maybe that he missed a plane or was late or something. It's true, you never think it's going to be someone you know. And in this case, Steve was a special guy. But in their numbers, they'll slowly ease their pain. Just help each other get through it, just by being there for everybody. Francis Gross, Channel 3 News. News like this is never easy to deal with, but at this time of year, right before the holidays, well, that makes it especially hard. Channel 3's Elizabeth Franny here now to show us how some people in the SU community are being comforted tonight. Well, John, the university didn't waste any time responding to the great loss people are feeling tonight. There were special observances for both the victims and those they knew. <laughs> Members of the Syracuse University community tonight are pulling together in their grief. They poured into Hendricks Chapel for a hastily arranged interfaith service for the victims. Some hoped their friends' names would not be on the passenger list of Flight 103. But for many, that was not the case. I mean, Alex was just a great brother. I, it, we were just waiting our arrival. We were all going to get together when I get back to New York. There uh, <laughs> really isn't much that can be said. Inside, five chaplains of different faiths try to help those left behind find the strength to go on. In the usually loud carrier dome, there was a moment of silence before the SU Western Michigan basketball game. Here in this silence, a detailed anxiety It took university officials hours to confirm that SU students were on the plane. They said they wanted to be absolutely positive of their information. But when they finally did, SU Chancellor Melvin Eggers shared his shock over the tragedy. This is the saddest day of my life. Uh, we've lost a uh, part of the brightest and the best. Uh, talented, beautiful people who had just completed a program that uh, those who have gone before them consider the highlight of their college career and of their life. And now, uh, we'll not see them again. The university is also offering its counseling services to students and families of the victims to help them get through this very, very difficult time. Thanks, Elizabeth. We'll have more on the tragedy of Flight 103 in a moment. never stops bringing you the selection you want. Fancy foods to specialty food. Food from home. Foods from around the world. We're tops for more of the foods you like and would like to try. Bon appetit.
Buy a burger, get a battery. No, buy gift certificates, get four batteries. So the toy people don't give you batteries. The Burger King people do. Buy a $5 book of gift certificates and get EverReady Energizer AA batteries free at Burger King. No matter what you do this holiday season, you'll want to stop and take time out for Highlands Holiday Sale with some of the lowest prices of the year, like $139 for a Toshiba AM-FM modular stereo system with dual cassette and $139 for a Tappan compact microwave oven with touch controls. Highlands Holiday Sale ends Saturday, so don't be left out in the cold. <laughs> Make this holiday season a remembered one with a quality fur from Giorgio's. Happy holiday from Giorgio Fur. I want everyone in the world to be happy. I want my own apartment in Paris. I want ballet lessons. And if possible, I'd like it to snow. We're going to show you that list again of 33 names of the SU students who checked in for Flight 103 in London. They are, as you see, mostly just last names with first name initials. We do not have the names of five other SU students who died in that crash of Flight 103. Throughout most of the evening, we've been reporting 32 names. There is one addition you will see at the end of the list here, making it 33. And again, we are waiting for the other five names. So far, they have not been supplied to us. And the addition there, M. Wolf. With any disaster, there's often the story of the almost victim, the person who, by some twist of fate, was able to avoid the tragedy. Channel 3's Jim Kenyon has one such story tonight in Liverpool. Debbie Paul is home, but she will always wonder if she might have somehow been aboard that flight from London had she not left early came home at the assigned time, but some of my friends stayed there that I had met. They had stayed there to come back on a later flight. I had a front friend that left today, but he left on British Airways, so he made it back okay. But there are others that you feel maybe... Yeah, I don't know about them yet. That was interesting. Debbie went to London as part of a program with yeah. St. Bonaventure. She was acquainted with several SU students who were also studying in London. So uncanny that I had just been over there, and I know people that are over there now, and... I just prayed that I didn't know anyone on, that was on that flight, and I feel very sorry for the families that have people on them. For Debbie's family, the tragedy in London came too close to home. Had she stayed longer, who knows if she might have been a victim. Oh, I'm just so glad that she's home. I just can't believe that this happened. I feel so sorry for all those other people. Debbie had not seen the list of students on board the flight. She asked me to read it to her. And when she recognized one of the names, the pressures of this day finally got to her. Jim Kenyon, Channel 3. In just about a half hour, a Pan Am flight 4919 will arrive in Syracuse. If it weren't for today's tragedy, students returning from London to central New York via New York City would have been on that flight. Hancock Airport spokesman Brian Coyne tells us that the airport has set up a separate area for any people who might arrive who haven't heard about the plane crash. Because of the late time of arrival, it's possible most people would have already learned of the tragedy, but officials there are not taking any chances. And at New York's Kennedy Airport, where the plane was due to arrive at about 9 tonight, relatives learned the awful news. Checking it twice. So convenient, Food Mart has everything from aspirin to ice. Convenient Food Marts give you more with two liter bottles of 7 Up and Diet 7 Up. Only $1.19 plus deposit at participating stores. So you better shop CFM. You better stop by. You can always count on us. We're telling you why. Get them. There's gotta be a lot. No. McDonald's. Waiter. So high five, you guys. You wear it on your feet. Not sure what they're like. Now. Nothing seems quite right. I give up. What are we going to do?
going to get him, guys. If you're arguing about it, it's on Donahue. What I want to do is educate the public to the fact that they are not obligated to tip. You're going to pay for it, one way or another. We're already paying for it. Paying for it. Tired of tipping? Intimidated by waiters? Meet the man from W-A-N-T, or wages and not tips. You should get paid fair wages, and they should too. To tip or not to tip? That's the question on the next Donahue. Donahue, weekdays at 5 on Channel 3. How about a gift the whole family will enjoy? Put a Chevy Corsica under your tree for less than $200 a month. Use your $600 rebate to cover the refundable security deposit and the first month's payment and still have money left over to celebrate the new year. Let your Heart of New York Chevy dealer show you how you can save almost $100 per month over the cost of buying when you lease America's most popular sports sedan, Corsica. And while you're at your Heart of New York Chevy dealer, register to win a trip to the Hall of Fame Bowl. And now let's take a quick look at some of the other stories making news today. A week and a half long wait came to an end for some SU athletes. They found out if they would have to be up against charges in connection with that brawl at the Shine Student Center and the things that followed. Star basketball player Derek Coleman was charged with criminal mischief, a misdemeanor. Freshman football player George Rooks also charged with a violation undisclosed because he's being treated as a youthful offender. He's just 18. No charges against freshman basketball star Billy really Owens. struck me as a very fine young man uh, who really had no substantial involvement in this whatsoever other than being at, at certain places. Until the last day or two, Owens' name hadn't even come up. The university decided not to comment on the charges. Before hearing about today's tragic plane crash, a statement we are told is still expected on this from the university tomorrow. In Syracuse, police say they've broken up an $8 million sports gambling ring. A 14-month investigation ending today with the arrest of 25 suspected big-time gamblers is how they're described. Police still expecting to make several more arrests over the next few days. And the first day of winter seemed like the perfect day to give us a preview of Winterfest 89. Now these clay figures will be recreated as snow sculptures at the Everson Museum. It'll be a kid's kingdom with an Alice in Wonderland-like maze of snow and ice. And it's the first day of winter, and Wayne is here to give us the weather. Uh, first day of winter today, first full day of winter tomorrow. And uh, it'll be rather uh, tranquil, a little bit colder than it has been recently, and there may be a little bit of a weather problem coming up, too. Uh, today in Syracuse, uh, believe it or not, we had a record high temperature. It was way back at midnight, but still a record. Our high temperature, 58 degrees. That was at midnight. And then the temperature fell ever since. Uh, we spent most of the daylight hours pretty much in the... Uh, Mid-30s to low-40s, low for the day right now at 31, and one-hundredth of an inch of rain at Hancock Airport. Outside right now, it's still rather cloudy, a few breaks here and there, 31, 19 on the wind chill, humidity 68%, northwest at 8 for the wind, and the barometer 30.37 and rising. And there's the sunrise and the sunset tomorrow, making nine hours of daylight. Well, around the area now, the clouds that we've 